How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be wrapping up the Mitsubishi two-zone ductless system. Let's do some work. Real quick, I want to talk about today's sponsor of the video. It is Free to Grow AI Answering Service. Now, for a while, I've been running this company all by myself, answering the phone calls, doing the installs, running the service calls, everything. And it's been a lot. And on top of that, trying to deal with customers or those spam calls, it just it gets on your nerves, it wastes time, and it distracts you from the work at hand. So to have an answering service like Free to Grow, where they can answer those calls for you, filter out those spam calls, but most importantly, they're able to talk to those customers and get them scheduled directly into your CRM. So for me, I'm using House Call Pro. It has access to my schedule. So it knows when I'm available and it can schedule right away on that call with that customer. That's fantastic. So if you're in the market for an awesome answering service, check out Free to Grow. I'll leave a link down in the description below. Also, check out this phone number here. It's a demo line. You can call them and you can just kind of play with it and listen to it for yourself and see how amazing it is. Thanks Free to Grow for sponsoring this video. Thank you. 
this one. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Is that it? The pump set. You adjust your top nut first. Like hold, yeah. hold it up to where it's level, and then you adjust your top to where it can't go up any higher. Gotcha. And then that way you know you're good, and you just send up the bottom one. All the different sizes depending on your copper marked. Mm -hmm. This is your guide, your stopper, so you don't push the copper in too far. Okay. You always want the the opening side of the jaw facing you because that's how the tool slides in. Gotcha. <clears throat> always have your nut on obviously first. But you slide that and you wiggle it until it it, it hits the copper hits it and you know you got the proper depth. Okay. Be careful as you're putting it on not to, to not move it or anything. Clamps. So did you just redo this just to make sure personally? For you. Multiple reasons, really. Uh, I never really want to trust the flare that comes on the line set from the factory. Uh -huh. I mean, sometimes they look pretty good, but feel that edge actually. They didn't deburr that before they. Yeah. And then secondly, uh, the nut. I'd rather use the nut that came on the machine. Okay, I see. What you're saying. I might as well go ahead and do this one too. At least we got the hardest one done first. Do you want me to go up there and see if we can't wiggle that around? All right, so we got, we're going to use these big anchors that come with the kit. Uh, these are nice and heavy duty, so I like these. We need to make sure we get the right drill bit. Right here is good. Let me see one of those anchors before we go too far. Oh yeah, dude. Just don't look at it, just it's, use it. This is just yellow, I can't use this. You can use it, just use it, just don't look at it. Oh my God, you I don't look. like it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> look how beautiful that thing works. Like a hammer. All 
Oh yeah. Don't ruin it. Oh yeah. Move out the way. Ooh, I like it. Like so, and then we got screws right here that we can put in the small screws again, the Phillips. Okay. So. So what all we have left inside? Just, Just the drain line on that one and these. Yeah, and I want to come. Back, I want to bring a level to this. I, when I keep blasting them when I'm out, it looks like we're. I've got it kind of like this. It kind of looked like where it sat back down. Maybe where I lifted it up. It, it, so I just want to make sure it's got good slope. Okay. Make it up there, just hooking up that drain line. Word. So whenever I'm pressure testing on a system, what I like to do is obviously get it up to the desired pressure and then let it sit for a good few minutes to let everything stabilize and then start the actual pressure test. So on this particular gauge set, um, you can go into the test mode, but again, I wait a few minutes to let everything settle and then I go into the mode. Red, black, white. Red, hang on, oh, it's black. Red, I mean black, red, white. Yep, black, red, white. I'll buy it. Black, red, white, I got you. Mm -hmm. I don't even understand why they put five sixteenths on like ductless style units anyway. You know what I'm saying?
a Phillips head bit on the unit that's yours. This job is done. Woo. Tell you what, it was a good sized project. Working in that tight attic up there, running everything, um, made it a little bit of a chore, but it all worked out just fine. Uh, I think it turned out looking really nice. So I'm really pleased with this project. The customers tickled to death. Um, they're gonna be super comfortable up there now. But anyway, that completes today's video. Really hope you guys got something out of this whole process. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, thank you so much for being here watching these videos. Definitely means a lot to me. See you in the next one.